Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I wanted to show you how to use a wood shavings tender bundle and easily get the flames. The only trick to it is to encapsulate your ember, hand drill, bow drill, fire roll, with wood dust. And we're going to scrape up some wood dust with our sharp 90 degree spine uh, and scrapings will work also. And we'll take that bark off. We'll find a good clear spot to start making our scrapings, which it looks like it's right in here. big pile of that. Right, we got plenty of shavings now. Let's go ahead and collect them up. Try to separate out the fine ones from the thick ones. All right, let's go ahead and put them together. We're going to reserve some of these fines to go in on top of the ember. So here's some of the coarse shavings. Let's go ahead and take some time to form them. We'll make room for these finer, even finer shavings. And then for our scrapings and our powder. which is of that consistency. And the finest of all is going on top of the amber once we put it on top of that little bed of uh, scrapings and powder. Now, all of this is damp so it might take some patience to go ahead and get the flames, but it is doable. You'll just want to use some wood that doesn't still have the bark on it like that did, and it'll be a lot easier for you. This is our bearing block, fatwood bearing block that we made a couple videos back from the gall on a pine tree. Let's give it a try. We'll save this dust. Cut my notch and I'll be right back. Sourwood on sourwood, showcasing how to use a wood shavings tinder bundle.
All right. We got a good ember. We'll let that coalesce a little bit. All that fat woods burn out of that barren block. Try to stand in the way of the wind, which is gonna shade everything. And we'll put it down into our tinder bundle. Put a little dust on it. And start letting it grow. Now just be patient with it. It's gonna drive off enough moisture to where at some point it'll flame up. It sounds like a yellow jacket buzzing by my ear. He must not have gotten the memo if you saw my video on the other channel. Just let it sit there and cook. You're gonna to have to exercise patience on this one. But I guess it's best to show you a worst case scenario like this to where there's all that moisture in it that needs to be driven off. Once the flames do come, You'll still want to let it sit there and cook and cook and intensify before you ever try to drop it down in the stove. Because you know it's going to break apart some when you drop it in the stove. So we've got flames. Let's just let it cook for a little while before we put it in the stove. It's driving off all that moisture. 
You know, the moisture has to go before you can get flames. Water, vapor, I mean, water turns to steam at 212 degrees. You'll never get your tinder. You'll never get your kindling. You'll never get it up to the right temperature as long as there's moisture in there. You'll only be able to get it as hot as 212 degrees and you need to get it up to 800 degrees. So the moisture's gotta go first before you can get the flames. Now, I'm not going to make you wait until all the moisture is driven off and we have great flames. I'll just give you a shot of it after it gets, it gets to burning real well. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.